traditional starter for the athletics this afternoon with the name of Chris Bassett. And of course, Bassett is a, a very good pitcher with a good curveball, a little cut fastball, good fastball. Swing and a miss on a 2 2 fastball, and the ball game starts with Bassett striking out VR. No shift against Mancini. And the pitch, oh, it hit him. Ran in and hit him, I think, on the elbow. And he is in pain. Brian Ebel racing to the plate. Mancini is down on one knee, and he is in pain. Mancini's been the lone bright spot, really, for the Orioles, and all likelihood will be the all star for the Orioles. And the other day, I was watching the rundown early in the game or early in the day on MLB Network, and they were talking about Trey Mancini could deserve to start in the All-Star game for the American League with the season mm -hmm. he's had. One up and in. Oh, gosh, that gets Trey on the outside part of the elbow. That right there, folks, is not good. Boy, right on the elbow. You're just hoping it's not broken. That's just a contusion. He's going to have to come out of the game. Will Davis at the plate. One, two delivery on the way to him, and a cranker towards second base. Played there. Alberto gets it over to Davis and a big double play. One two pitch fastball outside corner strike three called 95 for Bassett. One one pitch. Here's a hard ground ball into the ship from shallow right handled by Simeon. Slings it on to first and a quick one two three inning for Chris Bassett who's retired 10 straight. Chapman fighting him off. And chases one and. Asks himself why. And the one two is a called strike three. Paints the outside corner. Josh Rogers, six up, six down, two by strikeouts. Top of the fifth inning from the Coliseum. No runs, a hit for the Athletics. No runs, no hits for the Orioles. And then he comes back with a 95 mile an hour fastball. And he strikes out Nunez. Swinging a bouncy ball back at first, right to Olsen. He corrals it. He goes to the bag. And that's it for Rio Ruiz, two away. Bassett at the belt, Chris throws, and that's swung on a ground ball to second. Right to Chad Pinder, fields and throws, and that's it for the Orioles. And five innings of no-hit baseball thrown by Chris Bassett today. Left field. Wilkerson's back, and that one is off the wall. Piscotti just missed a home run. So he will settle for a two-odd double. Oh, and that hit Pinder. That hit him in the helmet? Yes, it did. Pinder gets up. He's going to jog to first, but they will check on him. Nick Paparesta quickly heading over to first base, as is the manager. So here's Fegley. He's 0 for 1. He bounced out. No score. Bottom of the fifth. Two on, two out. Fegley. Left field. Wilkerson back at the wall, and that baby's gone. The A's are at it again. A three-run homer here in the bottom of the fifth. And a baby Josh Fegley. And the Fegasaurus takes a big bite out of a mistake down the middle. With the game that's got good pitching written all over it, a three-run homer is like old. <laughs> Strike three called right on the outside corner. Strikeout number six. 3-2 delivery second time around. There's the base hit. And that will take care of the no-hitter. It's lasted for five and a third inning. So after five innings where the Orioles could get nothing going, they have loaded the bases on two walks and a single. One two pitch, swinging the ball, hit towards the middle, back of the bag, diving stop by the second baseman. Pinder throws the first, not in time. So the Orioles on the board here. It's a three to one game. So the hand is for Bassett, but he leaves with the bases loaded. Three one ball game, A's lead. Tanner's delivery to him, and he walked in a run. And it is a one run ball game three to two. The bases are loaded and Petit will face Hanser Alberto. Alberto swings and misses at a pitch way out of the strike zone. And that's how the inning ends. But a couple of runs for the Orioles. Now the is leading three two is the bottom of the sixth cannon scoring position and Piscotti's coming up. Now here's the one two and it's lined down the left field line base hit in the corner. Around third to score easily is Canna. Here's Piscotti going to second with a double. And the A's answer back. And they have a two run lead. It's 4 2 A's in the sixth. And straight away, as is the infield on him. They've set up double play depth. Delivery on the way to him and in the air to right. Should be enough to get a run home. Piscotti goes back to get it. Wilkerson will tag. Throw will come into the cutoff, man. And they hold the runner at first base. He gets the job done though. Santander gets the RBI sack fly. 
See if he takes off again. Not running this time. Ball's hit hard right oh. toward the second base. But he throws home and safe. That's right. What a great play. And there's a base hit right field. Marcus Simeon will score. Chapman round second. He will dig for third. He'll make it standing up. So Chris Davis comes through. And it is now 6 to 3, the A's lead. Loriano's got a base hit left center field. That will bring Chapman home. Davis is going to head for third. Loriano's going to head for second. Another run in. It's a three run seventh inning. And now 7 to 3, the A's lead. To the backstop. And hustling into score is Chris Davis. And it's 8 to 3. Little pop up. Chapman back Chapman grabs it and that's the ball game and the sweep is complete so the A's win a close one on Monday and then the offense comes to life last night and today.